Okay, so it's around 2, 2.10 and I was going, you know, whatever it is that I told you guys I was going to do. So in the meantime, I had uh, started rearranging my closet, kind of moving my shoe shelf from one wall to the other and then in the process of that, one side of the closet just came crashing down. If you have that kind of like wire closet thing, then you know what I mean. It's like you add just, you add like one more piece of clothing and it just like, no, I can't do this right now. So the hair probably looks worse than it did before because I basically didn't do anything after I filmed that little CVS thing for you guys and then it became sweaty and then you know how like the underneath gets really sweaty and then the rest of it just, it's gross. Okay, so I had these little, and I don't want to spend to like redo the closet right now like you know to have like proper like wood like wood closet and so what I'm gonna do is because the other side of the closet had already come crashing down like last year so I already bought like another side for that granted I would say that whoever had been living in the house before I want to say they'd already been there for like 14 15 years so I'm sure that stuff has it's lasted quite some time for them they probably don't have as much stuff as I do either so I have little pieces parts that I need to get which will probably cost based on what I looked at it should be like five bucks or something so I'm just going to remount what fell down maybe a few inches higher and then hang really long things from there so it won't be very many things so that's the plan for that so, and oh my camera battery is flashing so I'm pretty sure this is the the end of today uh, I will talk to you guys later so I got Home Depot stuff and I got uh, for dinner brown brown bag burgers which is good I got the bandito I can't even see me okay so right now I'm in the middle of getting this shelf up I already drilled the holes this is like barely holding on and then right now I'm trying to adjust this little mount to move it up because you can see hold on can you see yeah, you can see where the previous holes were and this thing just came crashing down it's a little preview we got shoes back there uh, this is just one side and then down here we have all kinds of stuff but um alex drawers right here but these are for i have jewelry and like sunglasses watches all that stuff kind of laid out there this is like a really random preview of stuff but let me see if we can put this on a shelf can you guys see Ooh, this is such a flattering angle okay maybe over here okay all right Ooh. all right so where did i put the so now we're going to <laughs> it's like i left and then i forgot where i put the screwdriver but now we're going to adjust this mount um i really do i have to film this i'll just show you guys the very end all right so half hour okay i'm about half hour but like 20 minutes later it's done i should technically fill in all these holes but you know what i'm not going to i don't mm -mm. this is why you need a man well not a man but like two people one person to you know do one thing and the other person to do the other things and oh i don't know this is really hard to do because uh i just don't have i'm just not tall enough slash arms not long enough mm, yeah it's definitely a two people thing but eh, all right so now we uh, can continue with the closet organization okay so i am going to get my hair cut it is monday september 14th um same sweater as yesterday haircut i'm going to get probably just a couple inches i'm just getting a trim a couple inches trimmed off I uh, in case you guys are curious about like what I asked to get done when I go I think I've gotten this question uh, enough that I guess I will mention it is I tell her which way I'm parting my hair so I tend to part it down the middle even though I move it to the left part it down the middle I get um, long layers with a slight v-cut in the back because when I don't get that v-cut I don't know I just don't like the way my hair lays whether it's like straight or when I run like a curling iron through it I just much prefer when there's a v-cut I don't know I'm talking very distractedly because the motorcycle in front of me <laughs> all right hey guys okay so today's Friday uh, uh, so I went out last night probably should not have seeing as today is Friday and I still have to work but you know what I'm early to work today so I like to think you know that's all right uh, I mean obviously I'm a little tired um, you can probably hear it in my voice so I went out last night I went out the night before and the night 
before, probably I got back by like 11-ish last night. I don't think I got back until like 12.30, but. And then I couldn't sleep. Like I could, okay, I fell asleep when I got home, maybe like, but then I woke up like a couple hours later and I just, oh, had a hard time falling asleep again. So, um, I'm having a hard time talking right now. That is a really small UPS truck. I don't think I've seen one that small. Okay, I don't know. Maybe like my eyes are playing tricks on me today. I just don't recognize, but I see like a really small UPS truck. That I physically can feel my heart. Oof. All right, guys. Do you guys like this hair today? It's like massive, like lion, lion hair today. I feel like I slept with my claw like really high up. So when I woke up, it was just like whoosh, which I don't mind because you know it looks good. Um, I had. When was the last time I vlogged? I feel like I had gotten my hair cut, but did I show you guys what it looked like afterwards? Maybe. But regardless, it was, um, uh, she does what she usually, or she did what she usually does, but it didn't come out the same way. You know how, like, sometimes you go home, you're like, this isn't right. Like, we didn't do, like, a check, you know, like a, um, you know, where she spins you around and you do like the back of the head check. I don't think we did that. And I just, I don't know. Like when I got home, it just didn't feel very whatever. And then like, oh, maybe when I wash it and I dry it again, it'll be okay. It still looked a little odd. So I went back on Monday. What is today? Today's Wednesday. I went back on Monday and she like kind of put in more layers and kind of made it more, less blunt, I guess. So that that and not that you guys can really see it because today I just kind of went a little ham with like a curling iron and just did all kinds of <laughs> I don't know when I do my hair I very very rarely section it off I usually just comb it out leave it down and just go to town with like a curling iron sometimes I use two different sizes it really just depends uh, today it was just like a, I think it was like a one inch no it had to be less than that maybe like three-quarter inch um, wand oh here we go with the sun okay oh. today i have to stay later i have a i guess like a class to take it's online but it's like a live class it'll be like from two to five so i'll be definitely at the office much later what else can I share with you? I want to go to the mall after work. I don't go to the mall that often. You would think I would, but I'm really not a mall person. <laughs> but I have to return the Marc Jacobs Free Spirit Palette to Sephora. <sighs> I had picked up the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, or the Edit. You know, the one with three face powders and three, uh, two blushes and a bronzer. I was so excited for that. I had a gift card. I had a $100 gift card. I bought two. I was like, it's going to be, because I love it. The my spitting diffuse light and dim light right are the two that were in there and those are my most frequently used hourglass powders on any given day I use those the most uh, I've been throwing in my YSL in there also but I've hit pan on diffuse light so I'm super excited about that and I got that and I was like okay so there's a new limited edition or exclusive to the palette a highlight powder or whatever and that was pretty but I don't think it's prettier than luminous light I think luminous light is more beautiful than whatever is in there I've never had to try the incandescent light I might actually pick up that palette at some point the one with the three face powders and then what else is in there diffused heat and mood exposure blush which are the two that I have like specific like large pants large pants like I have them in the full size and then the bronzer in there which is the the bronze light or something that was the one I was going to pick up you know during the VIB so it's like this is perfect because I'll just get everything in this palette mm -mm. I get the palette the pants are so tiny I can't really get a good face brush in there if this was like a smaller like if it was like an eyeshadow palette maybe I would understand but Mm -mm. It's a face palette. Like you want to be able to get like your face brushes in there. So I found that a little difficult. Um, and it's also hard to get it in there without touching another product. I guess you could do like a sweeping motion, but like no, I didn't want that either. Also, after the palette came out and some people got their hands on it, uh, I think Temptalia did it. Uh, if you follow Trend Mood One on Instagram, they did a kind of like a breakdown, like. Even with all six colors in there, it does not even equal the amount of one full-size face powder, which is ridiculous at $80.
So I just returned both of those that I picked up. And so I still had this $100 gift card. So I picked up the Marc Jacobs, Free Spirit. I like the shadows, but I don't love the shadows. It's not so much the quality. I think the quality of the shadows are great. I just don't really particularly enjoy the color selection. Uh, I like a lot of warm tones, like browns and reds, and warm peach colors. And, and I like all the mattes in there. The texture is great. They're really great for blending out in your crease or like kind of, you know, smoking out your lower lash line or something. Hey guys, so Friday. Ooh, these people are getting their roof done. I feel like because this development was started maybe like 16, 17 years ago, uh, I think around like the 15 year mark, I think is around when the roofs need to be replaced. Mine, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I had a huge leak in the bathroom. There was like water running down the walls in, in like the living room. So I only kind of knew to do that <laughs> once the roof kind of gave up on me. But I've just noticed a lot of people are getting it done now. My price was so good though. I had like two people quote. It was like eight, between like high like $8,000 to $9,000. And then I got these Amish guys to come in and do it. Oh, price was so good. It's around like 6000 or something. Anyway, so what did I see last night? I saw Black Mass with Johnny Depp. Ooh, that doesn't do good for the vlog. Okay, we'll just suffer through this for a little bit. Um, it was really good. I love mob films. I love like mafia movies, um, you know, whether it be like American ones. I kind of grew up watching like, a lot of Hong Kong ones. Um, so I love mob films. However, I never got into Sopranos. I don't know why I can't get into it. I've like downloaded it and I've like tried watching it, like, but I can never get into it. I feel like I have to try harder because I mean, it's like a highly acclaimed show. Everyone loves it. Uh, and it's a great way to get like your kind of mafia fix. I didn't sleep very well last night. I just had a really hard time sleeping. And it wasn't for like lack of comfort. Like everything was nice, comfortable just couldn't like I don't know so today we're gonna get Taco Bell for for lunch I'm very excited hi how are you I'm good how are you good what can we get you today can I get the taco 12 pack uh, 12 crunchy tacos uh, with sour cream and tomato I'm sorry you want a taco 12 pack and which ones did you want the crunchy 12 crunchy 12 crunchy, okay. With the sour cream and tomato. With what? I'm sorry? Sour cream and tomato. Supreme. Oh, that's a supreme crunchy yes. pack then. Yes. Oh, okay. The regular one doesn't, the regular pack doesn't come with that. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Um, and can I get the cheesy fiesta potatoes and a chicken quesadilla? Anything else for you? No, thank you. Um, any sauces today? Mild, hot, fire, verde? Uh, the verde, please. How many would you like? Uh, just, uh, one for each taco. Alright, please pull forward. Thank you. Thank you. You wanna come here? Oh yeah, food. I can't wait to, like, get a real diamond in this thing. It's so annoying. Oh, such a cutie pie. Um, I'm gonna order I think it's like a British site I think it's called Body Matters Gold I think and they do like very like flat laying no studs and I think I might get one like the smallest diamond they have I think and then one in like a platinum setting and another one in like a gold setting so I'll kind of be set and then eventually if I do more stuff I've always kind of considered like a ring but I don't know, we'll see, maybe a gold ring, but I really want it to be like a ring of diamonds, is that ridiculous? Like the smallest, tiniest diamonds possible. You welcome to hmm? Oh! I, I think we beeped someone. I think Echo beeped someone. Oh, cutie. Such a cutie pie face. I love you. He's like kind of a cute guy, like not in the car behind me, but the one after that. I can totally hear the sour cream gun going. 
Like it's like a little pshoo. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Perfect timing. I'm going to get the green light. Usually it's like a longer wait out here because you guys totally care. All right. Oh, come on. Oh. All right. Hey guys. So Saturday morning. Yesterday when I got home from work, I had this like huge plan. Oh, don't. I uh, yeah. The hair is shiny, but it is not done. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to do something about that later. Okay. So. Yesterday I got home from work and I was like, you know, I'm going to take a nap because I was really sleepy I think if you were watching like I just did not get very much sleep last night and then or the night before I was like I get home take a nap wake up go to Sephora return the Marc Jacobs palette go to forever 21 You know all this I had this like big plan for like the mall because I don't mall that much and it took all of my energy to even crawl out of bed at like 7 p.m. So I was like, all right, forget that because I didn't want to be rushed at the mall. So I figured I have to be useful somehow. Uh, so I uploaded a video and uh, what did I do? What is it? I'll link it below. It's like part three of like the summer haul, kind of like everything I've purchased this summer. Oh, I put together these bar cards. Let me show them to you. Okay, so I don't know if these are, I don't know if these are going to stay here because I kind of wanted something for sofa table like so I think they're a little high but I just love these I've been kind of looking for something like this for a while and these are beautiful they are by Maxton is it it's a Maxton gold bar cart I think it's by Southern Enterprises and these are made in Taiwan and I'm just saying they are really nice like I obviously have bought a lot of furniture that requires assembly it's like made in China this like made in Taiwan stuff it was packaged so nicely. I just feel like it's just better. And you know, I'm not knocking anything. Like I'm Chinese, so it's like, you know, I'm just saying this is was really nicely packaged and it was really just well kind of put together. And it took like two seconds. Well, not two seconds. I would say the unpacking of it took longer than putting each one together. So I've seen this a lot of times. I've sometimes seen it for like $300, but there was like a really good price on Blue Fly. I think it was like 146. And then it was like 20, 25% off your purchase. And then cash back, I think I got them each for around like a little, just slightly over 100, which is amazing for this size of a bar cart. So I don't know if these are gonna stay here. I might do something in the vanity area with it. Actually, let me give you guys a preview. Okay, so it's kind of dark in here, but this is kind of a preview of what the vanity looks like. Um, I really was able to like stay away from the Alex drawers. This chair is just not, I'm not into because before I had a very like white vanity so this chair is gonna go probably but um, I'll link below this kind of computer desk thing that I got the bars were originally silver like a brushed silver but I painted them gold and I might even do something with the mirror where I paint like like those strip lights gold also but this is kind of how it is for now uh, we'll do like a for real tour at some point and in terms of staying away from the Alex drawers I think it did a fairly decent job that's just like something from the white thing is I think it's from Wayfair and that just has all like my extras and tools and stuff but like the actual makeup is actually just like that and I love it because at any given time I can see all the makeup and I just can just pull out a drawer and like throw it on top whatever anyway so I am going to do this hair and I will be out and about today. I am going, seriously, this powder. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the mall. I'm gonna get there as, as soon as it opens. All right, guys, so oh, finally off to the mall. Um, so this is the plan. I think I already mentioned a little bit about what I was planning on getting, but so I originally had this dress planned for my brother's wedding, which is in November, and I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just get like, Maybe I was like, maybe I have to search for shoes. Maybe I have, I had got a purse and everything like a clutch. Turns out I tried it on last week and I was like, well, this is not cute, like at all. I mean, it was okay, but maybe not for like my brother's wedding. So, hmm, have to find a dress there. Also, I had this, I probably could still wear it, but like this outfit for like the cocktail party for Generation Beauty next weekend. It's cute. The only thing is like it's kind of low and I don't really have the right bra for it. And I was 
just trying on all the bras I have and they were okay but like the one that did work was like way too booblicious like I'm not trying to like I'm not about like boobs on display like I'm not you know I'm not trying to march in the boob parade so I am gonna go to Victoria's Secret because I have they had the new angel VIP card now and I activated that and you get like $10 that they give you and there's like a $10 coupon out there and free panty and stuff. I don't think I've ever bought underwear. I have not bought underwear in like the longest time because Victoria's Secret is always giving you free underwear. Giving me free underwear. If you're a member of like their thing, you get their coupons all the time. You could easily not buy underwear. Um, maybe this is TMI. I also really don't wear that much underwear either. Like I might wear underwear for the doctor if I go to a doctor's appointment and I'll keep like a spare in my purse like when I'm trying stuff on, like when I'm shopping or something. Otherwise, but not much for underwear guys it's, um, I don't like those lines I had some chocolate brioche there's not chocolate on my lips um, so I've been at the mall for like I don't know I've been out of the house for like four hours now and whenever you're actually looking for something you're never gonna find it usually when I'm shopping I find so many like really cute dresses that I'm like oh if I ever had an event I could totally wear that no actually have things I have to go to where and I have to look cute can't find anything um, I didn't do too bad though I have some stuff from Macy's really cute I got like a pair of pants for like eight bucks a really beautiful like white kimono esque thing for eight bucks and what else another top for like eight bucks so that was great and then I think I had another like percentage off of that so like three things for 25 and then Bath and Body Works there was like free mini candle five dollar three wick candle and like 20 percent off your purchase so i did pretty good there i got six of those wallflowers a three wick big candle and a baby candle all for like 25 which is good oh my god i need food so bad and then at forever 21 i had store credit so they were doing like i think if you spend 80 bucks you got 20 percent off so i got some oh my god these knee-high boots i will link them below if they're still if i can find them on the site they're really really nice they're like 45 bucks faux suede thigh high not knee high thigh high boots so cute oh my god they're so sexy they come in like black and like this kind of grayish taupe color i tried on the gray taupe one but because they're light and like faux suede, you can kind of see, you know how like when you brush things one way and you brush it the other way, it, it looks different. So I didn't really enjoy that a lot. So I really, um, the black ones are so cute. Oh my God, they're so sexy. If you ever have issues trying to find ones that like, and there's like no zipper, like nothing. It's just like slinky, sexy boot. Um, very kind of a sharper almond toe, so adorable.